meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth with your first alert storm team forecast. Well, some sad news coming out of New England today. At least two people have been confirmed killed in a historic and severe flood event that swept through Connecticut. All law enforcement say that two women, they were swept away by floodwaters near the town of Oxford, just south and west of the capital of Hartford. Now, this video is showing rushing flood water going through the town of Sycamore has helped to wash out roads and numerous roads remaining closed today. Also, check this out, a road, col road collapsing on Long Island. This is on the North Shore after another bout of heavy rain caused flash flooding there yesterday. Video showing that road washed away in Stony Brook, New York. Water can be seen gushing in between the two sides of the collapsed road there. Look at that. All the road just disappearing in seconds. And just like that, you've got a raging river that has uh, cut off that stretch of roadway. I want to show you some of the uh, numbers coming out of this area. So there's Hartford, Connecticut, this area that we just mentioned in the first video, Oxford. Again, not eight to as much as 12 inches of rain estimated within this area. And of course, we're used to getting tropical downpours and they're bad enough when they happen in our neck of the woods. But you drop that kind of rain over extremely hilly mountainous terrain. Roads get washed out very easily and unfortunately you deal with life threatening flooding. We'll take you a little bit farther south into Long Island. That's where they're near the Stony Brook area picking up similar rain amounts. Again, just very unusual to get tropical downpours like this in this part of the country this time of the year and it's certainly causing some major impacts. The radar picture closer to home is extremely quiet. Part of the reason this very dry air aloft sitting on top of us. We've got high pressure to the west, northwesterly wind flow aloft, and a stalled front sitting out in the Gulf of Mexico. And so long as that's on top of us, it's going to feel nice and comfortable and we will stay rain free. That's a view outside from Battleship Park and our air specialty camera this afternoon. Light winds there coming in out of the northwest over to Daphne Firmary East. The BLP mobile paints camera folks driving along. Not a bad drive. Still plenty warm out there, so you'll certainly need to hold on to the AC units. Just thankfully not as humid and Henderson Beach Resort in Destin. Gorgeous view of the Emerald Coast this afternoon. Tomorrow, your rain chance, it's a big goose egg. Another day with dry conditions, so keep your green and Phillips umbrellas home. The forecast this evening, gorgeous. 81 by 9 p.m. tomorrow morning, around 70 at 7 a.m., but I do think we'll see lows in the 60s again tomorrow morning. We'll see a few uh, passing clouds, high temperatures, right back in the lower and middle 90s. Right now, we're sitting at 93 at Gulf Shores, 92 Mobile, Grand Bay. Cooler in Monroeville. How about 87 this afternoon? Same, well, now 88 in Monroeville, just updated there. 87 for Atmore, 91 at Pensacola. But this is the number that you feel today. The dew point has dropped off into the 50s and 60s. It is starting to climb a bit here just in the last couple of minutes, but still in a pretty pleasant range for this time of the year. Your comfort cast showing those dew points. We're going to hover in that pleasant to not too bad range Wednesday. But notice we start to bring the mugginess back by the end of the week and into the weekend. That's pretty typical for this time of the year, but enjoy another pleasant night. Lows tonight into the middle 60s in our inland zones, lower 70s at the coast. Those temperatures actually running a few degrees below average for a change. You don't get to say that too often in the dog days of summer. Here's a look at the forecast predictor. Again, not a whole lot to show you over the next 12 to 24 hours, just a few passing clouds here and there. Now we are watching Thursday as moisture increases from the east. That will help to drive in some spotty showers and maybe a few thunderstorms there. Model might be overdoing it just a little bit, but I will at least mention that rain chance. Forecast looks like this. Highs in the 90s, morning lows in the 60s and 70s going forward. We'll get back to a more typical summertime pattern with a few pop-up afternoon storms through the weekend all the way through next week.